All right, guys, this is my first call. Uh, frozen up heat pump. So, obviously, got to get it defrosted first. Uh, had 28 volts on uh, going to my defrost board. Uh, so, for the time being, I just went ahead and jumped it into cooling mode, pulled the fan wire, uh, you know, helped thaw it out. It's got to get done. So, right now, things solid. Um, I believe this is this is a heat pump for the top floor. They have a straight AC with the furnace, but this has two zones. Um, so yeah, for right now, man, it's it's probably gonna be defrosting for a while because this this ice is solid. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting into, and uh, try to get some shots once I finally get this thing defrosted and figure out what's going on. But, uh, yep, that's, uh, that's my first call. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, almost that time. Right now, I actually went ahead and just switched into cooling mode a while ago and just had you know, started the fan wire off. But, uh, you know, most of this stuff's pretty soft, and pretty soon I'll be able to swap this thing back into heating mode and, uh, you know, I'm not really sure it's a refrigerant issue, but uh, making progress. That all thaw out once I switch to heat mode, but almost there. All right, so I have this thing up and running. Uh, here's our pressures in heat mode. All right, this is our outdoor ambient, 34, you know, 35 degrees. And I have a, a temperature clamp on the discharge line, 138 degrees, all right? Uh, and based on the charging chart, we got a three ton heat pump. Uh, we'll just say roughly, kind of right there. We'll say 303, and seven, 303 over 77. I mean, I definitely don't think this is a refrigerant charge issue. And what I found was, I went ahead and tested against T1 in common, and I had zero, no volts. So this thing is not tracking time, and uh, the defrost, uh, defrost thermostat's closed, but if we're not tracking time, it's not gonna tell it to go into a defrost. Uh, when I first got here, it was on 90. I just kind of moved it to 30, uh, 30 minutes, but we're not tracking any time. Everything else is checking out. Um, so we'll just go ahead and we'll order a new defrost board. But uh, yeah, no, I, I didn't think this was a refrigerant charge issue because it was uh, it was building pressure just fine. And uh, I mean, look at that, 140, 140 degrees. So we'll get a new defrost board and then uh, I'll see if I get you some shots on that. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, take it easy. All right, guys. Actually, this was this was actually a simple fix. As I was just going through the diagram, double checking everything, I found I already switched it, but I found this brown wire, brown yellow wire, and this uh, yellow blue going to the same side of the contactor coil, and this blue pink, which is going through the safeties, was on the other side. And then I went ahead and switched it because actually. That's how it's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be from uh, from the wiring diagram. As soon as I went ahead and switched that, switched those two, just essentially switched uh, blue plank on the same side as this as this one that's going to T1. Boom, T1 to common, 27 volts. We're tracking time. Defrost sensor was closed. Uh, went ahead and jumped into defrost. Boom, instant defrost. So. As far as right now, I'm gonna test it a few more times, but I mean, that was it. So, don't know if the board had got changed in the past and then somebody just forgot to switch it, but I mean, that's it, man. I mean, it's cranking. Went into defrost, I'm gonna probably test it a few more times, but uh, yeah, you know, 
gone ahead and just was gonna just condemn the defrost board and you know just go about it like that but you know just take a another minute just to look at everything and double check uh the wiring diagram i mean easy peasy man so all right and then let's go back to the pressures Temperatures come up just slightly. 130, 127 degrees. I mean, we're nice and cold. So, tested a few more times, but. Let's see, I mean, let's see if this thing will go. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna double check that we're getting a signal back on W. But, alright.